Hello everyone, this is Kev from Kev Central. Today I made another run to Harbor Freight and I picked up the Syntec automatic battery float charger. Uh, this was on sale for $4.99 and we're going to take a look at it. Okay, got the Syntec automatic battery float charger here. Uh, got it for $4.99 at Harbor Freight. It's pretty basic, just has a plug-in part, plugs into the wall, little middle circuitry part, and then your typical battery connector thing. So let's, let's open it up. Get it out of the package. That is it. Got some instructions. Now, uh, I have already bought one of these. I purchased one and opened it already. I have it right now charging the battery on my Vespa. And in the instructions, it clearly states, and from what I've read on reviews, this is important. I don't know how well you can see this, but if it's uh, that the battery must be fully charged to at least 12 volts. The reason I mention that is because, uh, like my lawnmower is an example, I used uh, a voltmeter that was on sale. Uh, the little, actually, I have to say on sale, but the multifunction voltmeter here was free this weekend. If you have a coupon for it, the uh, free multimeter, $4.99 purchase or above. So I scored one of these with it and I checked the voltage on my lawnmower and it was only at 10 volts so I had to charge that battery it's been sitting obviously it's winter so it's been sitting so uh, I had to charge that battery up to 13 volts and I'm about to hook this to it but it's pretty basic yeah just got your wall receptacle you have ample cable uh, zip tied here strings out I think that's six feet and your accordion cable between well, this is all the accordion cable, so receptacle, or plug, excuse me. Uh, and then this, the accordion, and then the alligator clips. So we're going to do now, and I apologize if you hear noise in the background, I've got a test running with the Harbor Freight Stormcat generators. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to hook this to the lawnmower, and uh, I'm not going to video hooking it to them, it's pretty basic, you plug it in, you hook it to the battery terminals. And gonna see, let it run for a day or two, and then I'm gonna check the voltage and see how it goes. This is supposed to have an automatic shut off, but I had read uh, some people seem to question that a little bit. I recommend that you monitor it because if you don't, you could burn up your battery. But I'll watch it and see. Got it on the Vespa right now. The Vespa was down to 12 volts, so it was right at the cutoff point uh, for using this charger. But it should bring it back up. I'm gonna let it run for a day. I'll check it all tomorrow and I'll report back and we'll see how it worked. 